recitation part of our lecture for today. Basically, in this recitation part of the lecture for today, we'll cover certain problems like problem number eight and we'll solve them during the recitation time today. Uh, I will solve them and then if you have questions, you can ask questions during the recitation. Starting next time, my TAs will do the recitation part of the lecture. I will do the previous three hours for the lecture. Okay. So problem number eight from chapter 2.1 from the app book. Uh, let H be the logical variable, propositional variable that stands for John is healthy, W is John is wealthy, and S is John is wise. Rewrite in English, in uh, logic, the following statements. John is healthy and uh, wealthy, but not wise. So how do we write that one? Let me copy it. And I will write it in notepad. So healthy was H. And wealthy and not wise. Again, in this case, the, the, the associativity tells me that this is the same with uh, putting parentheses around John is healthy and wise, but he is not uh, 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 healthy and uh, wealthy, but not wise. Okay. And again, if you want to use English, that's fine with me. You can say H and wise and not uh, uh, wealthy and not wise. And put parentheses around not because it's uh, harder to uh, see where it applies not, especially if there are other statements afterwards. Okay, next statement. John is wealthy, but it, uh, he is uh, healthy and wise. Healthy and wise. Okay, so John is not wealthy, so not wealthy and uh, healthy and wise. Again, I actually, now that I look at it, I do prefer to write a kind of like logical formula, but I will also show you how to write the English kind of version, not wealthy and healthy and wise. Okay. This is next. John is neither healthy, wealthy, or wise, nor wise. Okay, this is a little bit harder. So really what we are saying here is that it is not true that John is healthy or wealthy or wise. Actually, it says, so this is logical equivalent if you push, push in the negation. John is not healthy and is not wealthy and is not wise. It's neither healthy wealthy or wise. So we can already see the first use of the Morgan because we basically transformed the fact that is not any of them into the conjunction that is the negation is not healthy and not wealthy and not wise. Okay. In fact, some of you may have translated it directly into this one, but I like uh, the fact that neither nor is really the negation of the disjunction of these statements, okay? But that's that's the intuitive meaning too in uh, English. That's exactly what we are want want to represent there. So really, what you can write it in semi English, like this control natural language that we have. We have not healthy and not wise. Uh, no, uh, wealthy and not wise. 
from now on I will use the logical formula only because it now that I see it is easier to write and reason with than actually using the the, the uh, English words at least for me but I would accept both on your in your exams or homeworks okay maybe it's good for you too to use the logical symbols forward slash backward slash for conjunction and, and disjunction John is neither wealthy nor wise, but is healthy. Okay. So, not wealthy and not wise, but healthy. And of course, you can rewrite this into the negation of neither health wealthy or wise and healthy okay so it's basically uh, the morgan rule next john is wealthy but he is not both healthy and wise so john is wealthy wealthy and is not both healthy and wise. So the negation of both healthy and wise, which is if we want uh, the negation to apply only to atoms, like unit formulas, if you remember from the beginning of the class, is wealthy and not healthy. or not wise. You see that I put parentheses here because I want this disjunction that was obtained from the negation of the conjunction to be on not healthy and not wise instead of binding faster or higher with conjunction. So I didn't want a conjunction between these two. I wanted a conjunction between W and this disjunction, okay? Next question. So let's choose another question that we can, uh, that we would, that are interesting. Like for instance, question number 13, given this formula, build a truth table for this formula, okay? So let's write it down here. So question number 13, and then we are coming back and this is, Let's write it down. The negation of P and Q or P or Q. So let's put this. Question 13. Now we have the negation of P and Q. Or P or Q. Okay, so the question is asking us to build a truth table. So what are the propositional uh, constant uh, variables that we have there, P and Q? Those are the inputs. Then we need the inner formulas. So we need P or Q. We need the negation of P or Q. Then we need uh, the entire formula, really. So just let me just copy it. Okay, good. So now let's go to the next row. And what are the possible situations? P is true and Q is true. P, next situation is P is true and Q is false. Next situation is P is false and Q is true. And next situation is P is false and Q is false. And then we have disjunction is true or true is true, true or false is true, false or true is true, and false or false is false. And we have the negation of that, which is negation of true is false, negation of true is false, negation of true is false, and negation of true or false is true. And then we have the entire formula. 
So here we have the disjunction between this and this. So we have false or true is true, false or true is true, false or true is true, and false true or false is true. So the formula that we just found that uh, we had, we just found that it is a tautology. Excellent. This is a topology, by the way. Next question. Determine whether these statements are logically equivalent. So let's say that we want to solve... Uh, which problem do you like me to solve uh, constructing a truth table that is a logical equivalence? Does anyone have a preference? If not... Let's choose a random one. 23. P and Q or R and P and Q or R. So we want to see if these are logically equivalent. So let's put the question here. So we have question number 23. And we want to solve it. So it's question 23. Proof using a truth table at the next two formulas are logical equivalent, logically. Okay, so the two formulas are P and Q or R, P and Q or R, and the parentheses are here. Is it true that is equivalent with P and Q or R? So it's basically the same, but the parentheses are here. Okay, so let's build a truth table. So P, Q, R, then we need P and Q, then we need the original formula. Okay, for the second formula, we need Q or R, and we have the entire formula. Okay, how many rows does this uh, truth table have? Eight, because there are three propositional variables. So I will start filling in. Basically, we have four true for P and four false for P. And we have two true for Q and two false. And then again, True, true, false, false, and then for R, it's an alternate uh, of uh, true and false. So it's true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. Okay, good. And now we have the trueness of P and Q. So, true and true is true. True and true is true, true and false is false, true and false is false, false or anything, and anything else is false. Ah. Good. Okay, now we have the disjunction between P and Q and R. So true or true is true, true or false is true, false or true is true, False or false is false, false or true is true, false or false is false, false or true is true, and false or false is false. Good. So we have this entire table for the first formula. Okay. And then I have Q or R. So this is the second column and the third column. So we have true or true is true, true or false is true, 
true or false or true is true, false or false is false, true or true is true, true or false is true, true or false is true again, and false or false is false. Okay. And now we have the conjunction between P and the disjunction between Q, or Q and R. So first of all, true and true is true, true and true is true, true and true is true, true and false is false, false and anything else is false. Now the original question was, is this formula logically equivalent with this formula? And I can find a lot of rows in which I can see that, like for instance, this one in which the first formula is true and the second formula is false. So the answer is no, they are not logically equivalent. Okay. That's it with truth table. Now, uh, let's go to another one that basically asks for symbolic proofs. Let's see if we, if we find one. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe we go to conditional statements, by the way. So let's come here. So we have truth tables for conditional statements. So now let's build a truth table for such a conditional statement, okay? So from uh, page, from section, let's say problems, station. Section 2.1, those problems. Okay. Section 2.2, let's choose a couple of sections. So I will not build proof table. Actually, let's build a truth table. Problem number five. Problem five, build a truth table for some uh, uh, formula. Let's copy it, let's see if it works. So problem five. Okay, it didn't copy it properly, but let's see if it's correct. Not P or Q implies not Q. Okay, good enough. Okay, so the truth table for this. We have P, we have Q, we have the negation, really here we have a set of implicit parentheses. We have the negation of P. We have the negation of P or uh, Q. And we have this, uh, the, the negation of Q. And we have this formula. Okay, good. So now we have four possible inputs, true and true, true and false, false and true, and false and false. Not P is just the inverse of P. So false, false, true, true. Now we are looking at not P, this column, and Q and we compute the disjunction. So the disjunction, as we know, is commutative. So we can just look at it like this. True or false is true. False or false is false. True or true is true. False or true is true. Now we can build the truthness of the second formula. So we have not Q is the inverse of Q. False, true, false, true. And then we have, oops, we have uh, this formula implies this. So true implies false is false. False implies anything is true. True implies false is false. True implies true is true. So the final truth is here, like, like the, fi the final column is basically what we wanted, the truth table for that formula. Any questions? Okay, 
Good. Okay, so let's okay, let's look at problem 20. Write negations for each of the following statements. Assume that all variables uh, represent fixed quantities or entities uh, as appropriate. If P is a square, then P is a rectangle. So let's actually write them in logic first. So let me add problem 20. So 5, 20. Okay. So problem 20. So for this problem, we have First of all, let's represent it in logic. Let's say that square is the predicate S, and it implies R, which is that, that P is a rectangle, okay? So now, what is the negation of that? Let me write it down that this is, write the negations of these statements okay so the negation of s implies r is logical equivalent with uh, we can do it in two steps it's really the negation of uh, uh, s not s or R. Let me. Uh, it's P implies Q is not P or Q, so it's not S or R. And now we push in the negation, so we have the double negation of S and the negation of R. Now that is logical equivalent with S and and not R which now we write in English as P is a square and uh, P is not a rectangle. Okay. Basically, first we, we computed the negation of that original statement in logic and then we uh which is this and then we translated it in english basically the negation of this implication is that p is a square and p is not a rectangle now given that we can actually see easily how to rewrite others directly from english so if today is new year's eve the negation is today is New Year's Eve and tomorrow is not January okay. and so on basically now we know that the negation of uh, S implies R or P implies Q is S and not R so I will not do the others because they are basically straightforward uh, contrapositives. Let's actually do this one for the same problems that we've wrote before. Write the contrapositive. So let's actually add it to our set of problems 22 for contrapositives. So now, if this was the statement, what is its contrapositive? So, problem 22. Write the contrapositive of and here is the statement p is a square then uh, p is a rectangle so if again write it in english first in uh, logic first so square implies rectangle is our original implication and now the contrapositive it's easy to write is basically not r implies not s so now we run to write that in english is if uh, he is not a rectangle 
and p is not a square and one thing that you can already see is that these two are equivalent in in uh, uh, basically not r implies not s is equivalent with s implies r so it's our we are we were expecting that basically implication the original implication is equivalent with its contrapositive okay good let's continue we have a few minutes left uh let's jump to the rules of inference basically uh, actually no we haven't done this yet okay i'm looking at uh, if i can find any symbolic proofs i don't see any actually that are easy uh, not easy but okay actually no this one says that use the ones in another in an example to rewrite the following statement i don't see it like straightforward okay i think this is where we stop for the day and then we basically uh, continue next time okay let's save it actually submit it and we'll post problems for the homework uh, later today okay that's all for today do you have any questions actually let me also post the uh, solutions that we did for today's uh, recitation so really this is recitation one save on the desktop excuse me go you ahead said for the test that you give us a sheet that has all the different logical equivalences do you have like a copy of that sheet that we can look at now like when it's not for the test yes of course i will develop it right now after i upload the recitations thank you okay, good. so let's go over the standard logical equivalences that we enumerated here so these are the list let's actually open a new document competitivity absorption distributivity and let's add at the beginning the double negation law and the De Morgan rules and the two De Morgan laws here maybe we can do that actually let me it's much nicer if this appears on the next row oh so, we don't have the implication once so implication. Cool. Equivalence one, let's put it like this. P implies Q is logically equivalent with not P or Q and negation. negation. And the negation of P implies Q is logical equivalent with basically apply the Morgan on this, which is P and not Q. That's it. Let me also upload this. So these are, let's call it standard logical equivalences. on the desktop 
and we can put it in our recitation for today. Uh, uh. I hope it worked properly, but we'll see after I post it. Okay, any other questions? Oh, excuse me? Yeah. Uh, could you give an estimate on when you'll uh, upload the homework problems? Uh, five minutes from now. Oh, okay, thanks. I was okay. 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 Other questions? The document you posted, if you click on it, it ha when it opens up, it has really weird like formatting and stuff. Uh, which uh, document? Well, logical equivalences. Okay. Thank you. Let's fix it. So how do I do that? So I assume that I have to replace these weird symbols. Let me take a look at that thing. So it's really end and okay, good. So let's replace this with or replace all and replace the this other symbol with and replace all close save this thing and let's replace it so edit let's delete this and insert it again Submit. Okay, there is more. So this is item. Po okay, that's uh, equivalency. So let's replace that too. Let's call. Save it. Edit. Okay, submit, let's take a look. It looks good to me. Good. Other questions? Could you check the questions in the comments? Yes, thank you. Uh, okay. Okay, did he miss P or Q in question 13? Question 20, question 5, this question 13 here. Did I miss P or Q? Uh, no, I didn't because so big. Oh, this is, oh, this was end. Okay, I did miss something here. I do realize that. Okay, okay, so let's see. Uh, okay, I, I completely messed it up. Let's start from scratch. I, it's easier for, to start from scratch than actually uh, fix the other one. So P, Q, then we have P and Q, then we have the negation of P and Q. Sorry, I, I probably got a little bit tired towards the end. Then we have this. And then we have this entire thing. Excellent. Very good that you pointed to it. Okay, so it's true, 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 false, false. It was not a tautology, probably. And then we have uh, false, true, false. And here we have conjunction. So we have true false 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 okay we also had the negation so now we need the negation of that previous formula which is false true 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 and we have disjunction so we have true then we have uh 
disjunction true true and we have another disjunction which is false then we have uh, the disjunction between uh, this and this so that disjunction should be true 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 it's still a tautology unless i'm wrong Did I make any mistakes now this time? Okay, so in my opinion, it's correct, but if I did uh, after four hours, probably I'm a little bit tired. So it is a tautology. Okay, I will re uh, upload the recitation one. Sorry about that. Edit. Recitation one. And your exams will only be two hours. Uh, today I gave a lecture of four, so it's okay. Uh, upload new file. PlayStation one. Good. Let's go to the next question. The homework will be due on Thursday. I will post it in a couple of minutes. Uh, you can write the uh, problems on paper and then scan them for uh, no, not for the exam. No, for the homework. So the exam, you have to write the solution in the text area for that problem on Blackboard. Is there a practice test on Thursday? Yes. Uh, we start, to, actually, we do it during the recitation at the end. And that's it, I assume. Okay. Good. That's all for today. Uh, I will stop the recording and post it on uh, Blackboard immediately uh, on Piazza as soon as uh, it's done. That's all. Thank you very much. See you on Thursday. Thank you. Thank you.